Good morning. I'm Terry C. and in front of me is Tim C. in Yarnell, Arizona. We're going to metal detect this vacant lot that is locked up. It belongs to Barb. She owns the place tavern up on the main drag. Don't get to see her much. She only stops by once in a while. Two nights ago I was able to get a hold of her and she gave us permission to hunt this lot. As you can see it's fenced in completely. It appears to be about an acre and a half, maybe two acres. Right there is an old foundation. Rocks behind it. There appears to be something on the other side of the tree. According to Barb, this place burned down, the kids burned it down a while ago and what's left is a vacant lot. She has allowed us to cut down anything that is growing here because it is nothing but wild. And we'll keep you posted over the months. This is not a one day operation. So take my picture now Tim so everybody knows I'm here. Yeah, cut it out. Wait till I take my pills later. My weapon of choice today will be a Garrett 250. I'll be using a Calvin Bunker made pickaxe. I've shortened it a little bit as you can see bunked, put the weight forward onto the head. I think it's balanced better that way. And a simple garden trowel. What we have here is the makings of a foundation near here. Right in about here seems to have been a foundation. You can see a lot of extra brick back towards that 55 gallon drum is something else too. That might be a foundation, you know, large rocks. Have bedrock coming up all the way to the surface in some places. That tree looks inviting over there. And there seems to be a foundation up there too. According to Barb, the miners used to live here way back during the heyday. And it's been in her family quite a while. So Tim is using a White's GMT today. I'll be using headphones of course to save my batteries. And um, we, unless we get a couple of shots here and there while we're digging, I will turn this off and because uh, I got more important things to do. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. This is the way I sweep. I know there's a dime. I, I know there's a coin under here, and I think it's a dime. So I'm going to home in on it here. Now I'm going to step 90 degrees so that I can get a pinpoint. You notice I'm not going like this. That's not the same. 90 degrees. Come on, bring it over here, Tim. I'm going to call the coin right there. or whatever target I'm dri driving at. Ugh. Old man's got to get closer to the ground. There it is, there it is. It's a penny, a Lincoln cent, right where I pointed at. There's no need to use a pinpointer once you get experienced enough with your metal detector.
to know where that sweet spot is. Tell me when you do it. Filming? I didn't hear nothing. Okay. There's a lot of trash. As you can see, we take our trash out. There's the yoo-hoo! And uh, the goodies that we found today, and today is Sunday, August 10th, by the way. Um, Tim found a nickel. Did you find anything else, Tim? Lots of trash. Just a nickel. This is what I found today. I found, in about an hour's worth of digging, I found uh, one of these. Here's a dime. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nineteen cents today. One of these is a 1941 penny, 41S. This might be it right here. No, that's not it. But anyway, it might be deeper in my pocket. I might have put that in my other pocket. I'm not sure. I thought I put it back with the rest of them. All clad, except for the 41 Weedy. It's all clad. But we've got lots of room to do a lot more digging. Lots of time. That is, if Tim don't die in the meantime. <laughs> Don't die yet, Tim. You gotta drive, drive back to the RV. And 